episode 56 who's even counting anymore of uh your hump day podcast 8-bit bourbon are you getting a little static in your headphones <laughs> is that just me i heard it but i don't know <laughs> i don't know what's going on there well we'll see what happens um we had a big blowout last week which was you know favorite things of 2014 this week we're going to talk a little bit about favorite things of 2015 but since it's the holidays and we both celebrate christmas how was it, it wasn't bad it was a uh... Nothing crazy. As you get older, Christmas is less and less important, I think. I don't yeah. know. I like hanging out with my family, but... Yeah, I mean, it's nice for me just because I never get to see... Well, it's not true. I, I get to see most of them, but we have a big family, you know, there's five of us yeah. kids, so it's nice to see everybody's family, but it's insanity, too. Oh, yeah, don't forget the Makers is poured and the Red Bull's popped. Yeah. <laughs> we got it. We're doing uh, the ginger bourbon thing again, mm-hmm. which is... I'm just obsessed with it lately. It's really good. Uh, yeah, same for me. Christmas, I did couple different Christmases, but it's it's not as, in, as insane as Thanksgiving. That's when we have all of our family and yeah. everyone's wives and kids and, you know, there's like 30 of us, but, um, get anything techie? Uh, just my Kindle that I talked about last nice. week, the new Kindle Voyage, uh, which I love. Um, I was reading, you know, I was reading last night and like in this generation of, and I, I, I touched on this a little bit, but I more talked about like the technical aspects of it, but I haven't read with a Kindle in a while just because my other one's not backlit and I'm not going to strap a light to the fucking thing. So she got uh, that old like 3DS or not 3DS. Uh, uh, that, yeah. Advanced, I used to see people was use the, Game Boy that, that yeah, was like the curly out. cord light. Yeah. It's so ugly. Um, yeah. So I, that's what I would have had to do. And now, so like I said last week, I've read the last 30 books I've read, probably 20 books I've read strictly on my phone, mm-hmm. which sucks. You know, it's, it's, bright lcd screen in your eyes at night and it's not very big you know um and but the biggest difference which i touched on but i didn't realize until i did it is like in this generation of like uh, short attention spans and you know immediate satisfaction it's so hard to read distraction free so what i end up doing is i end up reading a half a page sending a text getting a facebook alert you know when i'm on my phone or my tablet or whatever The greatest part of the Kindle is I plug my phone in, which is another bonus because I wake up with my phone charged now where I never used to plug it in at night. Oh, really? Never? I would like, I would use it, read it, and then I would literally just pass out. Um, I mean, I, not while I was reading, but I would just put it down and pass out. I didn't feel like searching for the cord and then falling back asleep, you know, and then waking up. But it's great because I read for like 45 minutes, distraction free, no pop ups. And like you just retain so much more. And, and the fact that it's way easier on my eyes and it's, um, it's perfect, you know, it looks like a newspaper. The new the screen in the voyage is ridiculous. It looks like you're reading, you know, print basically. Um so I love it. It's it, and like I said before, it's probably overpriced. I think you'd be totally fine just getting the paper white. Yeah. I would suggest the paper white to everyone out there. But either way, get one of the backlit ones and I think it changes. you know, the thing is you can get a paper white or a voyage, you have it for ten years. Mm-hmm. It's not like the technology is gonna change that much, you know, unless yeah. the, the next breakthrough is if they can ever do it is if they can do like a color one for comic books that still has the same screen. But I think that's a long, long ways away. Speaking if of ever. ridiculous, Spunky's trying to build a nest <laughs> underneath there, and it looks so funny on the video. Oh, you, could you see him? I, I don't know if he's standing up or laying. Yeah, I can see him on the video. Oh, good puppy. He's like stuck in a blanket. Mm. I think he's like, I don't, yeah, he's not laying down. He's just jammed up in that blanket. He wants to be near. Yeah, he didn't want to leave. Usually he leaves the podcast room. He didn't want to do it today. But, well, yeah, I got that. I got that soundbar, and the soundbar is pretty awesome. Oh yeah, really, that's I'm right. really happy with it. Yeah, it's, that's uh, it, it's nice looking too. It looks just yeah. like part of your like. I was worried that it was gonna be too. My TV up top would be too tall, but yeah, it's not so bad. It's, yeah, it seems fine. It's only like, what did you say, like six yeah. inches taller and eight inches? No. The only thing is, I couldn't get my Xbox One to connect to it, like turn off. Can you not, like, send commands if through like an optical cable? So do t- you mean using your Connect to like shut off your TV? Yeah. No, no, you... no, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it would because there's an option in like the Xbox settings to add like a video rece- or audio receiver. No, because you you're not sending your commands through the HDMI cable. It actually has an IR blaster on the Connect, so it should work fine as long yeah, as okay. the remote so works. Maybe with I it. 
just have to keep on going. Maybe just have commands. to keep trying that one, yeah, because that that should work for sure. I didn't even think of the IR blaster. Yeah, that's that's pretty much how it works. I think it just blasts to the whole room. So hop them. You because you can technically people have said you can even have things inside cabinets. Yeah. Not always, obviously, but or like some people will have like surround systems on the other side of the room on the bookshelf for like a written that yeah. Xbox will actually work on it. So also, I have to recalibrate my connect. Yeah, now. me too. Uh, well, also I have to recalibrate mine because. I unplugged it one time to help Chad download something, and then I just and it just uncalibrates, which is the yeah. dumbest thing ever. So I have to go back it, and do like, it again. Actually, it's pretty nice in the settings. It, when we first got our Xbox One, it never said this, but it says if you change any of the like your your uh, audio settings, reset your um, calibrations, mm-hmm. redo them. I, I wouldn't. Even, I wouldn't even never. Right, because there's so many people out there that just have their connect totally yeah. uncalibrated. So I was watching. I was watching Entourage last night, and I, I started to feel like I was falling asleep. So I said like Xbox, turn off. And it was no dice. No, no, no dice. <laughs> yeah, because like, the audio you know, is probably coming uh, from different directions now. Yeah. It's coming. It's actually coming right at the back of your connect mm-hmm. now. So it might you might want to consider putting your connect on top of it if you leave a little shelf or whatever. Well, my connect is on top of it. Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Other than that, electronics wise, um, I didn't get anything besides that. I got the GoPro for my girlfriend, and we haven't. I haven't been able to use it on the dog yet. I'm just really excited about that. But it's amazing what it does with um, like motion. And you know, yeah. correcting jagged running because like you can like run around with it and it looks pretty fucking yeah, smooth, it's really you know. Clear. And it's it's only like the white one, which is like the two hundred or two fifty dollar one. It's not like the flagship black yeah. one. Um, but it's really cool. It's like it gives you a view that you just would never see before. So I can't wait to get out to get the next snowstorm running around with yeah, it. Yeah, thanks. And they're, for... and they're waterproof, which is awesome. Yeah, thanks to everybody who sent us those drone videos. That one yeah, fireworks right. was fucking awesome. I think yeah. Will Crunk sent it. Mm-hmm. That was fucking great. Did you ever see the snow one? Did anyone ever send that? I don't I'll know. I'll find it. I just forgot about it. That, the fireworks one is crazy. It's that, crazy, That yeah. guy was ballsy as hell. Yeah, that's that drone like... Went, that drone went like a good thousand feet up in the air. Yeah. Yeah, and like it must be so hard because obviously you're flying the drone from a screen. Yeah. So like you must not be able to see what the hell you're doing. You know? yeah. I don't know and how he, he got like, it back and down. And later, yeah, he got like ballsy. He was going through them. Yeah. And you could see like the sparks. He probably just figured up. all of that... F- spark shit's yeah. not gonna hurt it it's just you just can't well, take a direct you, shot yeah, <laughs> but like dark. that would be really unlucky yeah. you know what i mean i guess when the finale goes off though it's it's likely i would love to get a drone and play with it yeah. like how fucking the verge had a funny be. article today about um it was like people's vines about how they're just destroying their drones that they got for christmas <laughs> that's like, awesome people, people are driving them in the christmas trees and getting them hit pe- hitting people getting stuck in people's hair and stuff like that <laughs> if you, have you ever seen the the um i'm just i'm going back to calling them jiff files have you ever seen the jiff file of the little girl who gets one of those flying barbie things yeah yeah it, it goes, it, right, it goes, it goes the around the fireplace <laughs> <laughs> so funny she opens it for the first time does it and the dad's with this there with his paper like laughing he sees it go in you can just see him you can just see him thinking yeah. to himself ah this is gonna ruin he makes Christmas. the late the late grab but it's too late <laughs> yeah go, if you haven't seen the video it goes over Directly. her shoulder right into the fireplace like it's, it's like it looks like the barbie's trying to escape life <laughs> that's what it looks like uh. she, sees, she sees like a I don't know, like an opening and just goes for it. Yeah. Yeah, the, the drone thing would be really cool because I remember back when, like, they first were starting to release, like, there was an iOS one that was, like, the first one yeah. that was, like, a consumer one. It was, like, 400 bucks, but it was pretty sweet for what it was. I mean, now you can get ones that are, like, ridiculous, you know. What's cool about them is if you ever fly one of those helicopters, it, depending on the quality of them, some are really hard to fly. Some of them aren't too bad because me and Nick had two of them. One was, like, impossible, yeah. but it was kind of fun because it was impossible. And the other one would hover, no problem, so you could do it. But the drones are, like, stupid easy. Yeah. You know, you can just, it's, like, the easiest must, thing in the world. There must be some stupid people out there trying to fly them. It was funny. Some people would get them, like, two feet off the ground and just drive them right into the ground. Or hit, <laughs> yeah, there's one guy that hit himself with it. It's like, how do you hit yourself? Obviously, there's also probably varying levels of drones. But for the mm-hmm. most part, the whole idea is, is that there are four yeah. engines to keep it super level. Because the hardest part about a helicopter is the keeping it stable because mm-hmm. at the end of the day if you panic or something just hit just stop hitting forward and directionals and the thing will just hover yeah that's why it's easy you know you if you're if you're fucking something up with that with the helicopters that don't do that you don't it's like it's like a figure <laughs> eight like you can't stop or you're, it's gonna crash you know let's let's get a drone now we have, i would we love go for all strap right we get too we get too drunk we would start we we would take turns flying at the other person shooting the pelican. <laughs> We'd call Taco Bell and just fly it over to Taco Bell and have him strap it on. Taco's wall pack, strap it on and drive it back. Could you imagine? I wonder how far you can get I imagine with the good one you can get pretty far. 
Um, I I think the weight would be a bigger problem than the distance. You don't think you can carry a taco call? <laughs> no time? chance. Not unless we get like a two thousand. <laughs> maybe we can make two trips. Maybe, right, maybe 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 a couple tacos <laughs> duct taped to the top. <laughs> if I go through a drive through. Does <laughs> that have a speaker on it? You could like turn it towards him and start talking. Put big googly eyes on it. Or you know, stra- strap like an iPad to it. And just Skype. Right, that's a good idea. Oh my god, I would never leave my house. It would really would be amazing. I would just be like a robot. What, what did someone say when they said Amazon was going to start drone delivering? Someone said um, uh, skeet shooting with prizes. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, dude! If I saw one of those flying, I would rip one a shot out with my BB gun. How amazing! falls down and you find like a new ipad yeah i don't know there's gotta be like a weight limit right though yeah i don't know what they i don't know what their plan was to be honest i assume that they would use really nice drones fly them very high yeah. i don't think you'd see them like fly at eye level by your if i had know. a drone i guarantee we'd get in trouble so quickly because oh, yeah. like the cops don't know the rules about it we don't know the rules about I, have, it. I have no idea the cops would probably just take it yeah, they they would come by and be like, "That's ours." Now. Yeah, we'd have it. We'd cost, <laughs> and, we'd, and we'd say, "Fuck." It would cost us a thousand dollars in legal battles to get it back, even if, even though it, they didn't have any reason to take it. The problem is, we would be fine. When we were sober when we got drunk. We would do something really stupid with oh, it. Oh, and we have that airport right there. That's all people. That's need true. To say. Yeah, I think you're. Um, I think he, I keep thinking you're playing footsie, and Spunky's just rubbing his ass on my foot. Hopefully, he doesn't fart. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he will. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, let's get into the Grinch stole Christmas part of um, the holidays. Fucking fucks. And if you guys haven't been under a rock, you know Xbox Live and PlayStation Network were the targets of a huge Christmas Day attack and Christmas Eve, I think, and then today. Yeah, or, today's the effects are yeah, still. The effects are still on there. So the, the Verge was the only place that had an article about this before it happened that I saw, I'm sure. I don't want to say the only place. The only place of the f- big major ones yeah. that, that I saw that had one. Uh, apparently, Lizard Squad, who's the same people that took down the... They called in a bomb threat to American Airlines when the Sony CEO was flying on it. I don't remember because of something. Really because they wanted attention, but they yeah. pretended it was something. They th- said, we're going to take down Xbox Live and PlayStation Network on Christmas Day. And then there's this uh, group called Finest Squad who said, we're going to stop them, basically. And apparently they swatted one of them, which yeah. if you don't know what that is, it's where you... The Canadian boy? Yeah, you, you call in a SWAT. Uh, you yeah. call, like, in a threat so that the SWAT team will go, yep. you know, grab the person. But who knows if it was even one of the... Obviously, Lizard Squad says it wasn't one of their people, but of course they would. Yeah, if you want to see something interesting... So it's a battle. Go on Twitter and find, like, the Lizard Squad and then uh, see the tweets between them and uh, Finest Squad because, like... The Finest Squad, I was just reading it. They said they released public information about mm-hmm. members of the Lizard Squad. And the Lizard Squad say, no, you didn't. And it's, it's really funny to watch. Then you got that Kim.com guy in the middle between them. Trying he to was negotiate. trying to save the day. Yeah, he was. He almost like, saved the day. It's like, you know what? They were never going to do that, though. Because this isn't about anything but being assholes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I know the, he was. I know he. it seemed like he was close to doing it. But well, the what, good thing what was is he offering them? He was offering 3,000 vouchers to his mega upload service. Yeah. Or something like that. But he said it was only contingent on them not, like, them stopping and, and keeping, like, stay stopped. And right. Apparently they haven't. Right, they've, they've done it today, it. too. I just read on some place, Xbox Live is up and PSN still down, but we were just having problems yeah, with we Xbox Halo, Live, Halo so... Wasn't working. We could get on Xbox Live. Um, yeah, so I'm not I'm not sure if it's if that's false information. Also, we, Probably we, changes every hour. We weren't too. playing the most trustworthy game. That's true. We don't know. We're not. Sh- we can't be sure with that game. We made this up. Uh, but it, it's it is very interesting. Now, uh, one thing that everybody says in the comments, which I love, is that stop calling. The, you notice how I try not to say hackers yeah. in this whole thing because they are not hackers. They are fucking children who have never gotten attention and they're probably eating Funyuns and drinking Mountain Dew in their basement and they Googled uh, a YouTube video on how to do a denial of service attack. You know what I mean? All you need is really is resources and basic understanding to do one. It's very easy to do. These are not hackers. Like Anonymous going in and, you know, or North Korea going in and taking all... That's a hacker. Yeah. This is not a hacker. This is this is a simple thing to do that these fucking nerds... And it's like, I don't give a shit. I didn't even try to get on Xbox Live last night right. or yesterday. But how about all the kids opening their new gifts or, yeah, I mean, or getting their new games and they can't play them? And like, I hate all these people. They act like they're fucking like freedom fighters, but you're not hurting anybody. You're hurting the people. Microsoft and all those companies already got their money. Right. And when they bought those Xboxes and, and all those no games one is on Black mad. Friday and stuff. Yeah. Right. No one's mad at Microsoft or Sony. To, it doesn't matter to Xbox if they, nobody can get on their service. Mm-hmm. It just doesn't because the money's already paid for. Yeah. Look, I mean, look on the comments. There's no one saying Xbox sucks, Sony yeah. sucks. They're saying... 
fuck these nerds, yeah. <laughs> you know, that are doing this. So, right, it doesn't hurt the company as much as it. You're only people that you say you're trying to, like, defend or whatever. You're yeah. not. You're just being an I asshole. Didn't, I didn't even see what they said. It's just that they're, they're so lame. They're like, you can just tell that they are, like, children. Like, yeah. from 14 to 17, um, just anti-social, never seen the light of day nerds because you could just tell by the way that they write on Twitter and stuff. It makes me cringe every time I see one of their messages. It's oh, yeah. like, these kids don't live in the real world. They live in their fucking basement, you know. But sad because, again, yeah. I didn't really get affected by it. You didn't really get affected by it, but there's a, probably a ton. Like, imagine if we were 13 and we just got Dragon Age or, or maybe Halo or whatever yeah. for the, you know, and you couldn't even get on to play it. Well, yeah, my, my son, my cousin, she got her son... Uh, Xbox 360, I think, and Minecraft, and he wanted to play. Like, all of his friends were doing the same thing, and they wanted to play yesterday, They and she couldn't get live to work to make him an account. Right. I was like, that sucks for a little kid, you know? Yeah. What, what good are the Dude, games? Dude, if I got Nintendo 64 and I couldn't play Super Mario 3, yeah. and I know it's different, but I like, would have been heartbroken. Can you even play, like, Minecraft without connecting I'm not to sure. live? Is... I don't know anything about it, to be Me honest. Either. But I imagine you can't. I imagine it's an online. Well, Xbox also needs a day one update, so does PlayStation. Yeah. So. Well, I don't know if the 360 would. Oh, they had 360. Yeah, okay, the 360. then yeah, then I'm not sure. Still, it sucks for a little kid. Like that's a big deal. Like, we never had to deal with that because you know we came with a generation without the internet. Right. For our consoles, but the, you know, a little kid gets it and he just can't play, or it's, he's looking forward to playing with his friends. It's really lame, man. It and is. It's. it's uh, and I, I can't believe. They, and they act like they're sticking to the man, but they're not. Right. I, if anyone out there is really technical. And is like been in server stuff or whatever. I can't believe that they haven't. They being everyone hasn't figured out a way to stop denial of service attacks yet. Like I obviously I don't understand. I know the way that they work. You basically just flood the server with requests. But yeah. I can't believe that there's not a way to to fix it somehow. Well, I don't I don't know what it would be. Yeah. But it's just like this has been going on for ten years now. Like people have been using this to shut down sites for you know forever. I was reading um the lizard squads tweets and they're saying we stopped the attacks it's now you guys like uh, what is it ddos or is that what you say yeah d- denial service yeah that you're the ones doing it to yourself because everybody's trying to get on there and it's right. causing more problems like, well that's another but, thing like you're not no that's that, well i guess that's true but still you're fucking mm. you're the reason why that's happening right they're, they're the reason that why everyone's still doing it just as much as your fault as you still doing it you know someone made a good point though they said I don't know if this is true, but they said, I don't know that these kids could have done this on any other day but Christmas, but because Christmas already has a natural influx yeah. where the I servers... the Verge just said that. Yeah, the servers would probably have problems anyway. Yeah. That to add to that, a denial of service attack, it's like, that's why they waited till Christmas. To yeah, do it. It, it wasn't because it's a holiday. Everybody's it's everybody's excited it's to get on, the, get on and play. They're going to keep trying. Like, if I, if, I, if I was presented an Xbox One or a PS4... Like, well, how about when morning? we got Halo? We, yeah. we tried for, like, two hours. And especially, <laughs> say, like, your parents didn't know what kind of games you wanted, you wanted so they gave you $100 worth of, mm-hmm. like, the coupon or the, the cards. Right. You're going to be on that store. You're going to be refreshing, refreshing, refreshing. Absolutely. That's, and it's just a bunch of fucking douchebags. Yeah. Huh. And you, you, know, you know they're douchebags, because, like, Kim.com, he hates fucking big big business he hates the u.s government for what they did to him yeah um and he was trying to stop it well because he knows they're not sticking it to yeah. anybody but he, but us he's like i have children i understand he's like i'm a gamer i understand i don't understand i follow that guy on twitter because that he was one year was the, one of the top people to follow on twitter yeah, because it's, it's this big fat nerd who has like this wife that's too hot for him and he has like all of his pictures are like on the sprawling mansion or yeah. like in this ridiculous car it's it's his twitter she i don't think it's deal as, she, they have five kids yeah I, I don't think it's as good as it was but yeah. back in the day before well like, it's a lot more like legal stuff right now. right when he got in trouble even after that that was when he was starting to flaunt it the most mm-hmm. And then he's dialed it back since. And also, he's got five kids, like you said. Like, yeah. He was, like, driving around like a Bentley. Like, it was just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. and, like, the, you know, the U.S. government was after and He's him. a smart guy. Oh, yeah, definitely. The new Mega's awesome, by the way. I don't use it that often, but it it's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, but, but it's fucking assholes. Yeah. And then you act like you're not at fault for anything. So you are. Well, they just, they. I don't think they expected the backlash they got from the common person. You know yeah. what I mean? So I don't, I think somehow they thought they were... Like people are gonna be like, "Wow, you guys are awesome." I would Probably like, because they're antisocial and they don't. I would like to anything. know like what anonymous thinks of something like this, because usually anonymous will only go in. They're not. They're not fucking like any angels or, but they usually go in with a purpose. I wonder if they're like they sit back and they're like, "Good job," or, uh, it's hard because, well, two things. Number one, 
you know how they say like you know a hydra you cut off the head and two more three more sprout yeah. whatever the hell it is well i imagine some of these people are probably rejects from anonymous could be too but uh, the, the problem is and that's what the problem with these hacker group names is it could be ten thousand people it could be a hundred people it could be five people with a group like this lizard squad that has um you know, just denial service attacks. I mean, they could have 10,000 people and they just let, like, like it could be like this underground group, like Usenet or whatever it's mm -hmm. called, who they have, like, two leaders, but they just use a bunch of different people's computers. So, like, getting one kid arrested isn't really going to stop them at all. No. You know what I'm saying? Where I think Anonymous is more highly trained. Like, they've done more impressive things. But, again, who even knows who really is Anonymous? If it's, if it's three people that run it or if it's just a group on a place that, like, a bunch of different people, whatever. Uh, what I was hoping was that Anonymous would take notice yeah. and go after them because they wouldn't do a denial of service attack. They would go after their fucking, you know, their, remember when the kid, and I actually felt bad for this kid, but remember when the kid who started the fappening on Reddit, yeah, the subreddit, they exposed all of his, uh, I don't know, if, I don't think it was Anonymous, but somebody, ex somebody, had, somebody exposed, they gave it to the Washington Post, right, all of his personal information, yeah. it was like this really nerdy kid, but it's like, that kid didn't hack the people, he just yeah. started the subreddit, I felt bad for that kid, he didn't, I don't think he deserved that, but I would like to see what happened to him, happen to all of these people, yeah. you know, how great would it be to well, see real life pictures of these people, their credit card oh, information, their addresses, the Patriots, send them for a week, or a three day vacation at Gitmo, <laughs> Oh, let, would, him, let him get waterboarded. They would. I, I think you wouldn't have to waterboard him. You could just put put him in a room with the other people that are there. They would probably actually. Those people would probably kill him. They might. Yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about lizard and finest. It, it just sucks. I guess go find a squad, but I don't. Like, you know. <laughs> I don't know. There's so many other like douchebag companies in the world. I know. Like, really. There. I mean, I just I don't understand the point of going after luxury companies. Yeah, really, really. Why don't you going after like, you know, um, Halle Burton or yeah, or like or like an oil company that dumps all yeah. its shit in the rivers or you know, and also you're gonna go after Microsoft. How about Apple that outsources their shit to suicide net uh, yeah. factories? You know, it's the whole thing is just stupid. It's it's clear they're not trying to do anything good. They're just trying to get attention. What's yeah. the best way to get attention? The most populated services in the world, which is you know online gaming. So surprised they didn't. I wonder if they could take down Steam or if it's not the same centralized. Well, thing. they did attack Steam not too long ago. Did they? Yeah. Because that's that'd probably be a lot harder. Um, but anyway, so real quick before we get into our main topics, game sales. Adam just picked up two nice ones. Yeah, but I don't know if they're gonna be uh, games he has no time for. Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna be I up either. But I just figured we sale, I just yeah. figured we talk about them anyway. Did we? Did I say I got Dragon Age last episode? I don't remember because we recorded it twice. But uh, <laughs> Troutman, you guys know him. He was on the show a long time ago. Um, he keeps he every day I see him he tells me about like oh you see there's one day sale for this last week it was one day sale for Dragon Age I think I got it for like 45 bucks today there was a one day sale for Sunset Overdrive half off like a straight 30 you know and it's always like you always see like 21 or 29 or 29.99 this was 30 bucks it's so <laughs> weird to see that it was kind of yeah, like, weird but uh, yeah so I bought two games that I don't have any time to play perfect but I was really excited to play these games and if Far Cry if Far Cry comes up I have to buy that too. But now tomorrow I have to go buy one terabyte external hard drive because I am out of space. On your Xbox? Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I didn't even think, because when I was at home, I didn't even think uh, Sunset. I well, I downloaded Sunset from work and I didn't think it would be there when I got Oh, home. really? There's nothing you can delete off it right now? There is. But I, I'm, like the games that I have on there, I kind of want to play. So. Right. Why don't you just get a nice one terabyte and use that as your Xbox hard drive like I was saying before? I don't trust that thing. Well, if it breaks, you can just always re-download the games. No, because I'd just rather have that's only five hundred or three hundred some gigs. I'd rather just have. I know, but you'd have eight hundred gigs. <laughs> that's like. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's like uh, twenty games or something. Twenty full size games. Yeah, that's true. You know. I don't know. You can do whatever you want. I just figured because you have the terabyte, you can move around the apartment. That yeah. one you could just leave on your Xbox because no, that, that would be plenty of space. Yeah. You know. Well, I was thinking about. I mean, this thing is like, it's dying. Why'd was, you say that though? What? Oh, because it just makes funny sounds and it's, I don't know. Yeah. It's like, like, well, I mean, the nice, the pieces are like falling off. The nice part like about, cracked. the nice part about using it for the Xbox is you could put it in a drawer and just yeah. leave it there. Like you wouldn't have to move it around, you know? And it's not like, that's what I would it's do. It's not but. USB 3.0. I don't know how much that would matter with the games. Um, it copies pretty slow. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you could try it. I, I think the game's either going to run or it's not. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But, that's not a bad idea. Because it probably pulls it into like local RAM before it runs it. 
<clears throat> or whatever happens. I don't know. Someone correct me. Anyway. We have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> but uh, keep an eye out for sales because they're awesome. Yeah. But main topic, we're going to talk about what we're looking forward to in 2K15. Last week, we talked about what we're going to, what we liked and hated about 2K14. Uh, ben wrote me today, my brother, and he said, you know, he listened to the podcast. He said, hey, I thought 2014 was a great year for gaming. So he's on my side. Well, the thing is, we're all on the same side as far as personal gaming. Because we all had great personal gaming years, but that wasn't what I was talking about. I was talking about as a industry. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because we all discovered Dota 2, which is one of our all of our favorite games ever, probably, right? Mm-hmm. We all um, we all got, well, not all of us, we got Halo, uh, Hearthstone came out. So personally, it was an amazing year. But what I was trying to say was, there. It's it's been a long time since there were fewer AAA releases game like there were so many games delayed we're not going to get into that again but as far as a personal year it's probably my favorite year since i don't know years ago oh yeah i was i meant to look up that year that i was talking about Mm -hmm. and i never did yeah well you tried (laughs) i tried my best (laughs) but but yeah so anyway uh looking forward to 2k15 now the good news is because 2014 was somewhat um disappointing one of the reasons that to me it was disappointing was why because there were so many delays well guess what all those delays now are going to come out in 2015. Yeah, you can't wait to get your hands on Battlefield Hardline. <laughs> I will never touch that game. And it actually looks pretty good. Just like Battlefield 4 is good. But yeah. um, So let's talk about... <clears throat> let's just talk about games first. We'll, we'll start with that. Okay. What we, so you want to talk about what games we're looking forward to? Games we're looking forward to, yeah. We mean, can talk, we'll talk about the consoles after that. Mine, mine are tough. I, I, I actually really want to play the Metal Gear... Um, what the hell's the name? Phantom Pain? Uh, is that what it's called? Yeah. I yeah. Okay. Phantom, or Phantoms Pain or Phantom Pain? Phantoms. It's something like that. Uh, the new wing, Metal Gear. Wings? Yes. <laughs> Love Take You Down. Um, I just want to play it because um, Metal Gear Solid 4 left such like a sour taste in my mouth because like there was so much potential there and then the game was just like cutscene after cutscene after cutscene. There wasn't a lot of action, but what action was and they there? got perfect 10s everywhere, yeah, which I thought was ridiculous. It's because the graphics were good at the time. It was great. I mean, everything was great except the fact that they made you sit through a movie that you didn't yeah. give a shit about. And it was like, like if, there were like 45 minute long cuts. Yeah. Like Final Fantasy do- doesn't do it quite as much, but it gets yeah. away with it a little more because their stories are actually good. Yeah. Some of them, not all of them, but... Well, the Metal Gear Solid, it's just, I mean, it's ridiculous. It's embarrassing how yeah. stupid the stories when you, are. When you get, like, the guy that sells you, like, weapons, which what, the weapons thing was awesome in that game, how you could upgrade your guns, mm-hmm. you could stick with one gun. The, gra- like, the graphics were ridiculous. It was, like, an though. hour and 15 minute, like, video to watch in this guy's, like, van. And there was, like, the backstory with him and shit, and it was the dumbest thing ever. Yeah, it's, it, he, that, he is the, uh, what's his name? Hideo Kojima, uh, uh, Kojima or whatever. Yeah. He's the epitome of, like, um, uh, what the hell's the word like? Fuck, like self. He, he like he just wants to do it. Like he he loves any idea he has. He has to like throw up all over you. Like he mm-hmm. can't say like mm, that's not a good idea. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He just has to do everything. It's, like you could just tell in his game. I, I just I don't know the gra- everything I've seen in that game just looks ridiculous. I like how they changed up the combat. So it it's looks more really like cool. it's more like actiony. Yeah, because of that. I I still want to play. What was that one called? The the 30 minute game oh the demo like 30 bucks it's not, it was on sale for like 12 bucks <laughs> fuck that I game. thought about picking it up yeah I think 5 bucks would have been fair I can't believe they sold it for 30 bucks but but the, but the way the gun it looks really cool it looks awesome it was just a matter of principle like it's so funny because so many people were like well yeah but you know it's one level but it's like at least 15 hours of gameplay because you can replay it and I'm like Replaying the same level is not 15 hours of fucking gameplay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, yeah, we could play Game of Thrones 20 times, too. That doesn't mean that it has 20 hours of gameplay. That's the dumbest shit ever. It's one level. It I'm was sorry. Fun. stupid. You could have got away with it for 10 bucks, maybe 15. And that, to me, is still outrageous. I, like, bet, I bet it sold pretty well, though. I don't know. I'd be interested to see. I don't think I don't think that it did. No. Because there was a lot of backlash over that. Um, because they're, they're, they're really taking advantage of, they don't come out very often, so yeah. people were really excited about it. Well, and, and again, I, I but I agree. I think that the full game looks fucking awesome. But uh, but I'm rounding off my my list would be Halo Five, Batman Arkham, was Arkham the fuck are they calling it? Arkham Knight? Knight, I think. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Just Cause Three. Just Cause Three. <laughs> I cannot wait for Just Cause Three. It's, it's better. Be awesome. co- I mean, I'll understand if it doesn't come out this year because I don't think they. I don't know if they said it. It's next year. But I, that is just my most anticipated game. Like, 
It's gonna be Batman it's, should oh, Batman should be number one, but I cannot fucking wait for Just Cause three. Yeah, I no, had I look, so much fun with that second one. I hope it's good. I hope it's exactly the same way. I hope it's the story. Yeah, I hope, it's I hope just the story. I hope the steroids are the steroids. Steroid. <laughs> I hope the story's fucking terrible. I hope the voice yeah, acting is even worse. That's what it worse. should be. It was so good be- because that's like a lot. Like what's what's the the game that I love that gets shitty reviews? Oh, Crackdown when mm-hmm. Xbox came out with that and it had the Halo three demo, beta whatever. Uh, I thought that game was so awesome. It's kind of similar to Just Cause Three. It's like it's kind of stupid in a lot of ways, but the core mechanics are mm-hmm. fucking awesome. I think a lot like, of you're people jumping over buildings. Came around on that game, did they? Yeah, and I, you know, I never played the new ones, but um, I, I, I would probably get a new Crackdown game if it came out for Xbox One. And I, I have a couple that I'm like iffy about. Mm-hmm. Number one, I'm iffy about is The Witcher Three. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, they keep delaying. It. I'm not iffy. I think it's gonna be amazing. Um, what, you know why? Because that's what that studio does. Well, Witcher one and mixed, two are amazing. I always hear mixed things about one and two. Like, you, oh, some I play, people love or hate them. I played two. Yeah, and it was awesome. Okay. Uh, n- n- not not in the way that like you know you, it, it was very cool though. And what I've heard is two was much better than one. Yeah. So I f- just feel like they're hitting their stride. In other words, at the worst, I think it'll be like a game that's like an eight and a half. Yeah, so I mean, I, I'm not, I, live, I would live with like a seven if like yeah, it looked as way. Like it does. it's never gonna. I don't think it, there's a chance that it's bad. I guess is my point. I don't know if it'll be a ten, but I don't think it's. I don't think it'll be less than an eight for sure. And uh, Legend of Zelda. Mm-hmm. Real nervous about that because the way they're showing off that open world, it looked great, but it looked kind of fucking bare. And I understand. Yeah. That, I understand that the game's not done. Yeah, a lot who, of people who said knows that. Where that was recorded from? Yeah, a lot of people said that. I'm not nervous at all. I just, I think that I just trust what they're gonna do. But there was a lot of cool. Like, uh, I love. And that. you know what? I'm okay with kind of like riding around in like a quiet world where you're by yourself. Yeah. I think that could be kind of cool. Did you watch part of the video when they they started making fun of people? Like, they're actually, I think they're making fun of like Skyrim about like how their horse automatically dodged trees. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And they're like, why would a horse run into a tree? <laughs> <laughs> so true, right? It's just really cool because yeah. it frees up your hands to yeah, then like, shoot people. But I was really excited for that new mechanic they had when you jump off the horse. It's like slow motion. That was neat. That's really cool. Yeah, that, that's one of those things that's like, I, I always I always come back to Tony Hawk, but it just makes you feel like that. Because Halo, I always say Halo is a little bit like Tony Hawk where like, it gives you that combo feeling. And like that's the kind of thing where you get the slow-mo, maybe you shoot three guys, and it makes it's that moment where you go, same thing, Shadows of Mordor has a lot of that. Where it's like you feel like you did something really cool, you know yeah. what I mean? Devil May Cry type thing. The coolest part of that video to me by far was when he runs off the cliff and, and does this, oh, yeah. and it was just like, it was like holy shit, the world's big. I think that was what was so cool about it, you know. And uh, what was it? shit? Um, fuck, what was the other one? Another game? Uh, no, I was gonna say. Oh, I. Do uh, you think that Ocarina will make his comeback? What since it's open world? Oh, I don't know. I hope they don't. I hope they just go yeah, their own yeah, way. I want to see it. Like even the Caliponia. I I like to see him take Zelda a new direction. Actually, did they did they say the horse's name was Ponya? I think they did. In the video. I, I don't know because there was a big, there was a big thing in like how to pronounce Ponya. I always said Ponya. Some people pronounce the other way, but I think the translator said like Ponya. Yeah. I, again, I think it's really bizarre that Nintendo won't just put English speaking people in their fucking videos. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, that video listen, is, I love those guys, but come on, it's really awkward. Like yeah. it's just, it's just such, such obviously a different culture, you know. And I. Th- I have I have my other one I have two more but my other one is Kirby's the epic yarn it's not called epic yarn but the whatever it is the yeah. sequel to that because it looks kind of cool but I'm not the biggest puzzle guy mm-hmm. so I don't know how much I will like it but I really want to play a good Kirby game and the trailer I saw it looked it cool looks, looks real cool I looks really cool and my last one is Star Wars Battlefront. I'm excited for another. Season. I don't know what the fuck to think about that game. My problem is it's dice, and I have zero right. faith in dice, especially when dice has two games coming out in mm-hmm. 2015, and they couldn't handle one before. Right, and which which part of their studio is doing it? Yeah. You know, who's got the who's and got the job? I don't think I want to say those games don't have a single player. At least it's probably not like anything huge. So I when know. I played Battlefront, I only played it online. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't remember ever playing a single player. The, a really good Star Wars game though could kill because yeah. like especially um, like if because they, because the movies are coming out and yeah. it's been a long time since there's a really if good star they can wars lock game down everything they tried to do in battle or uh, yeah battlefield 4 and, and put a star wars skin on it it's fucking awesome right exactly that'd be really, really neat like a really cool. like uh, realistic and, yeah. version of star wars would be really neat uh yeah i would I, I, that's on my list for sure i just i'm i don't know what to think i think it could be great i think it could suck i have no idea i'm, what to I'm think. gonna give you my game that's gonna fucking suck fable legends 
Yeah, no, no, no fucking interest. way is no that interest. game gonna be good. Pa- Peter Molyneux. I hope I'm, I would love. No, he's not a part of it though. Anymore. I know, but he, anything that is even has his name attached blows. Fable, Fable Two was so fucking good. Yeah, and so was the first one. Well, you know, you know what the they fucking ruined the those best games. game he ever made. Let me just uh, confirm that it was actually him because I'm God, pretty sure. Are it was. you talking about the gods? Yeah, uh, black and white. Black and white. Yeah. Black and white was an incredible game. Yeah. Really good, uh, but. The guy is just an asshole. He comes out and he talks about how this is going to be the greatest game of all time. Yeah. And then the best part is, then he talks about how the last game sucked yeah. all the time. We're like, yeah, no, we know Fable Three was terrible for this, this, and this, this. Wait, I was like, wait, I thought he was going to redefine video games. Yeah, you no. said that when it was done. One of my favorite things is when, for Fable Two's. They were talking about. Um, he was talking about how like the AI of the dog will change the way AI is forever. <laughs> I know. And all it did was just like it would walk away, and if there was something hidden, it would scratch and sniff. Or if somebody was in the background, it would sit there and growl. Which which makes me think. Like he did that, nothing. Which makes me think he had nothing to do with black and white. Like I don't like he must have a programming team that like does stuff and he has no idea what's going yeah. on because he must walk in the room and be like He's a good sa- that- he's he's a good salesman. Yeah, he's a salesman. Yeah. He must walk in the room and go to one of his programmers, did that dog just uh, find a hidden treasure? Yeah. And then he must go to the podium and say, revolutionizing. Or they know. had it on the whiteboard, we got to make the dog AI awesome. And then the final products, all we can get him to do is, is sniff the ground and bark. I'll sell it. <laughs> like, fuck it. I got you guys. But yeah, that Fable Legends is a free-to-play game. It just, I don't know. It doesn't look good. And I think Fable's way, way past. The, the, oh, yeah. Definitely. I don't think Fable 3 did well at all. Yeah, no, yeah, I think people people know Peter Molyneux, whatever, is a joke now, and obviously he's not directly involved in this game, but I think people are always going to attach him to that those games. Oh, yeah, another game I'm actually kind of excited for is uh, The Order. I just want to see if it can be good. I think it's going to suck. I, I think like, it looks like boring-ass cover combat, just like every like, other game. I like Ready at Dawn. Or Ready, yeah, Ready at Dawn. I like this game studio. I mean, it looks beautiful, but I just think it's going to be boring. Just my opinion. We'll see. All right, what do um, you got? Uh, I mean, my number one is Halo Five. I think it looks amazing. Like, and I'm, I am so ready. I was so ready to say Halo Five looks terrible. Like, I just had low expectations. Even though Halo Four was a pretty good game, it just had a few flaws that were really bad, like the drops and stuff. I really think Halo Five looks incredible. Like, it looks like Halo how Two you, on crack. How do you feel about the ADS? And when you're getting shot in ADS, you don't lose your scope or your sight. I thought you, you know you do. I don't think you do. I, I was listening. To- no, it says you get de-scoped. They brought that back for this game. I don't, okay, I thought I, people were talking I, about the the beta and said it doesn't do it. I'm because they were saying it, why would it? Because you have your shield up. I'm not sure. I know when you're zoomed, it does. It descopes yeah. you. I'm not sure about that. I think the ADS might not. We're yeah. not sure. I'm not but sure how about would, that. Either way, anyway, it doesn't matter. How would you <clears> feel if it was? I, I, you know, it's it's so hard for me to say because I've never used that on a Halo game. Yeah. I can't even say. I do love that they descope the long range weapons mm-hmm. because that was a huge thing in Halo Two where. If you wanted to snipe someone, you were taking fire. You had to sneak in, pop out, and when you don't descope, it's just too easy to kill yeah. people. So I love that they're bringing back that. I don't know how I feel about it with the left trigger aiming. My biggest concern, by far, I don't mind that they have the ADS, which if you guys don't know what we're talking about, it's just basically looking down your sights. Yeah, um, aim down scope. So aim down scope. Yeah. Aim down sight. Name down sight. Yeah. Um, but my biggest worry is is that L trigger is not grenade anymore. And I think I'm okay with that as a Call of Duty player. I think I would yeah, rather but, I would have rather have an RB anyways. No, see, I wouldn't because in Call of Duty grenades are one billionth of the but importance. X is, X is stupid. The, as a like a inventory or item button. Yeah, I don't know. I just I just think that in Halo, the one of the there's two things that really, you know, make it what it is. It's and having melee be such a huge part of it, and having grenades be such a huge part of it. And there there's a reason. Like it wasn't like they were like. Well, L trigger, we have nothing else to use that for. Let's use it for grenades. They use it for grenades because they thought it was that important. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have shooting and grenades be just as important. So I'm worried that. I'm just worried that, like, it won't. Like, I'm worried that they're going to de. Um, they're going to, like, lower the importance of grenades. Because they tried to do that in Halo 2 or 3. I think it was 2. And everyone freaked out. Gr- melee sucked and, grena- and, and grenades sucked. And then they patched it, like, the next week to make it, yeah. you know, like the previous one. But. Because it's that's what that's why Halo is Halo. Like it's it's those close encounters. It's leading someone into a grenade and then getting the headshot. It makes it those combo plays. Um, so I'm a little bit worried about that. But I haven't played the beta yet. Yeah. And ultimately, if the grenades are just as good as they were, then I'm fine with it because I'll I'll figure it out. You know. Everything I've heard so far, people say the the ADS doesn't change the game at all. It still mm-hmm. feels like Halo. It still feels really fast. 
I think one of the best things about the ADS is the animation where you're coming out of it, how it doesn't like just quickly show like the gun. It just shows the gun like lower down into yeah. the position. It looks fucking. The game looks awesome. Incre- I love the hands. Yeah, they look incredible. Like and the everybody- gloves with the. Yeah. And everybody's saying, you know, like you have those abilities, like the ground smash and shit. Everybody's saying the one that you can grab is called like Cumber um, or no, it's Clamber um, or something like uh, Clamber, yeah. Clamber. Clamber. They're saying that's the best one. They said like once they stop using that ability, the game was totally changed for them. They need, they like yeah. being able to jump from ledge, fall down, and then quickly scale up and stuff like and, that. And I have a positive and a negative to that. I think I'm going to love it, but... The negative is is that one of the cool parts of Halo is figuring out those jumps that you can make that yeah. other people can't and crouch jumping to get up to a certain level and clambering makes it a lot easier, mm-hmm. obviously. The cool part about it is there is that awkward thing where like you go to make a jump and you just like float against yeah. the wall and that's really awkward. Um, and I also think that clambering, because you have to press a button, will make it feel like you're doing something really yeah. cool in succession. Uh, but the, it's going to be very important for the creators to make maps that work well because yeah. you don't want people to be able to clamber up every fucking wall or it takes away the verticality of Halo. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want people to just be able to climb up everywhere or... Which is not how it works, but you know what I'm saying. The level yeah. designers need to be really careful because I guess, you know what I was saying with the tricky jumps? They'll still be there. You'll just have to find a jump to get up to clamber, I guess, hopefully. Um, but that does look very cool. It makes it so you're not safe anywhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's awesome. I wonder if there's a little bit of a delay till you can shoot when you clamber. I, I bet know. there is. Yeah, I mean, Like I everything else. Yeah, I love the abilities to me. We'll see how they all individually work. But what I love about the abilities is everyone has them. And that's what Halo 4 didn't understand about Halo is. And Halo Reach? I don't even remember. I've never played Halo Reach. Well, they had like loadouts where like you could have sprint or jetpack or whatever. Oh, yeah. Ultimately, in Halo, I don't mind that they add a little things. You need to, you know, you need to revolutionize the game as you go forward. But when I ran in someone in Halo Reach, let's say it was that, um, I didn't know if they could fly, if they could sprint, if they could use a shield, if they could go invisible because Nick used to go invisible when we played. Yeah. And that's not Halo. Like I want to, like I'm okay if someone ground pounds me or runs into me or, or sprints if I know he can do it. And yeah. now everyone has the same abilities, and to me that's very cool. And I love that they took the because Halo is the ultimate arena shooter. That's what's supposed to be. So I love that level. That's looks like a tra- a combat training, because that's like Halo to me. It's a it's just a combat training arena. Yeah. And people are like saying like the glossy suits are. I think they're awesome. It yeah, looks I like think it, I think the game looks incredible. It, and I love how, like how they slap high fives like that. T- it's like it's like going laser tagging on. Yep. You know what I mean? That's what it looks like. Are we talking about Halo 5 for the next 30 minutes? <laughs> I would love to. I can't wait to play it. By the I time won't. you guys hear this, we've already played a day Yeah, we'll, our next podcast, we'll be able to review the beta. That's mm-hmm. going to be exciting. And we will also be putting videos off of us. So Big time. Keep an eye on our YouTube page yeah, and subscribe to it. Yeah, absolutely, because we got the Elgato, so they can't stop us, even if they didn't want us to us. switch. Okay, so to run through my games, keep in mind, some of these are games I just want to see. For example, No Man's Sky. Oh, yeah, actually. I don't know if I'll buy it. I'm nervous. I'm ve- I am too, but I'm, I'm very, very, very interested to see how it goes. Uh, again, Sony, put it on the Morpheus because I think I would probably buy both for that. I think that would be amazing. Um, Final Fantasy 15. The first video I saw that, I thought it looked so really? stupid with them driving around the car. Mm-hmm. Have you seen the most recent trailer? No. It looks ridiculous. I don't know if it's going to be good, but holy shit, it looks like the monsters and the the way that they're going around the city and stuff. It looks incredible. So well, I kind of I kind of liked. Um... What was it, 13? I don't remember. There was, tw- there was, was 10, with- 10, 2, and that, those were the ones that we played on PlayStation 2. the first one that came 2. out on Xbox One. Yeah, yeah. that was... Uh, was it 13? I don't even know. Might have been, it was 14 the online one? 12 was the online one, uh, I think. I don't know. Well, this was 15, so... Well, anyways, whatever. it was the one that brought in Lightning for the... Because there was like... I think it was 13. I actually liked that game until the final boss, because the final boss didn't matter what you did in that game. It was just... It was like playing against like a uh, fucking dice. Right. I lost to it like a hundred times, and then one time it just didn't do what it was doing the entire time, and I kicked its ass. Right. And it totally, because that paradigm system, paradigm, paradigm, that I really liked it. I thought it was awesome. Yeah, I never played it. And I had fun with that game. It was pretty, but that fucking boss, it was so stupid. Yeah. I, I think people are excited because 15 looks more like 10, where like it's going to bring back. Yeah. The roots of because um, remember so. we played well, 10. They, they say that every fucking time. No, so. but I'm I'm saying people, not not the creators. Oh, okay. I'm saying people who have seen it. Um, you, but like when we played ten, I mean that's one of the best video game experiences of my life. Great. I mean it was incredible. If I had a PSP, I'd pro- or yeah, or PS Vita, I'd probably buy it. Don't they have a remastered one for PS4 of X and X2? Because X2 yeah, actually it, got. But everybody's saying like Vita is the way to play it. Yeah, 
but X2 got even better reviews, so that would be really cool. But like, do I really want to sign up for another forty hour RPG? No. <laughs> you know, no. definitely not. But uh, so anyway, so there's that. That's one of my. That's one of the games um, I'm looking forward to. That's a surprise. I wasn't expecting that. Yep, uh, Zelda is you know Halo and Zelda are probably my top two, but you already mentioned those. Uh, Bloodborne, I don't know that I, it looks that great to me. It looks really pretty, and I'm not as excited as everyone not seems to be. Type of games. I'm extremely looking forward to Titan Souls. Have you seen this game? No. It's a 2D. Um, it's a 2D. I'm trying to think. It's like a 2D Dark Souls kind of slash Zelda. It has monster bosses that you fight. The graphics are really cool. I'll show you a video after this. If you guys haven't seen this, it's I think it's coming out for PS4 and probably Steam or something. Um, but it and probably Vita. It looks. It's just like it's a 2D game, but it has like those slick animations, mm-hmm. but the old school look of like 8 bit or you know 16 bit, whatever. It looks amazing. So that's that's high on my list. That's a game that I will definitely get. You know what I mean? Or like all these other games, we'll see because they're 60 dollars games. We'll see if that one is. Uh, below, I'm looking forward to Super Time Force uh, yeah. Studio. Looks amazing. One of the ones that I feel like not enough people are talking about is The Witness. Uh, it's the Jonathan oh, yeah. Blow game. Now is that only for PS4? I think it's coming out. Um, I think it's coming out on PC and maybe okay. maybe like iOS. I'm not sure because it's like a puzzle game. I'm not sure, but either way, he uh he created um what the hell is it called Braid? Yeah, which is probably in my top ten favorite games ever of all time. That's how good I think that game is. And he's kind of an asshole. If you ever seen him on Twitter, but he's undeniably yeah, genius. He's kind of a dick. So this is his next game since Braid. So I just think I'm absolutely ecstatic about playing that game outside of that i'm you know batman i guess i don't know if i'll buy it Did i'll you... probably watch you play it yeah um that's pretty much it that we're i can all, think of there's both pro- uncharted we are both fucking assholes yeah yeah uncharted i'm excited for uncharted i'm not as excited you know, as i am for a lot of those other games though when How I about that? Ba- when and, I look, I, and i love uncharted when games. i look back at uncharted games i just realized i didn't like one or two like that as much as I thought I did. Really? Yeah. Well, well, the supernatural crap is is so stupid in those games and doesn't fit the world. Yeah. At all. Like the Nazis at the end of the first one, and then those like ape things in the fucking second one. It's like what yeah. the fuck. And then the, when the third one started doing that shit, I was like, I don't know if I can keep playing this. But then they were like, kind of like, uh, change yeah, it up. Yeah, a little. I think. Um, I thought two two was probably my favorite, but I hear what you're saying, and that, that's what I'm worried about with the order too. Is like. If the story's not really good, mm. well, then all you have is a duck and cover yeah, you have mechanics. Just a different skin gears of war. Yeah, because what Uncharted really is, is it's cover mechanics mixed with, like, hilarious set yeah. pieces out of, like, well, perfect segue, because this is the other game, which definitely is not coming out in 2015, but I wish it was, is the new God of War. I love God of War. Yeah. It's one of my favorite franchises ever. God of War ever. 3 was fucking great. They're all amazing. If you haven't played all three, I would play all. You should play the PSP one, the one that the Ready at Dawn, I think, made is. That's people yeah. make order. I that was That's probably God of War 3, PSP 1, and then 2 were probably my favorites. I, I, I thought 1, 2, and 3 were all awesome. Did you ever yeah. play 1? Mm-hmm. The 1 was awesome, yeah. too. Um, but I'm, I doubt that'll come out in 2015. But what I was going to say was God of War made like the huge, hilarious set piece, like famous. I think Mm -hmm. they did it better than anyone ever. And Uncharted has that stuff, you know, where like in God of War, you'll fight a boss where you grab a trollers and it throws you 600 yards and whatever, like Uncharted 2, you'll be on a train that crashes and you're hanging over a cliff. And that's what's, it's amazing though. It's really cool. It's almost, it's almost a little bit like, uh. Game of Thrones, like, Telltale stuff, though. Like, you really have to kind of, like, follow the leader so yeah. with, with all of those games. It's, I'm not uh, saying it's a bad thing. Absolutely. But, yeah, that's pretty much all I can think of. I'm sure there's, like, a ton of indie games and stuff that I'm not, off the top of my head, I'm not thinking of. That we just of, don't give a shit about. That we just don't care. <laughs> you know, Hearthstone expansion, whatever. Um, and we got uh, the Blizzard... Yeah, I'm Dota thing. I'm I, I, what the Heroes I, of the Storm. Thing. Yeah, I'm actually more looking forward to their their uh, what the hell the Steam oh, the Team game, Fortress Team game. Fortress game. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fun. I'll never remember the name of that. I don't even want to know. I, it. I, I remembered it the other day. Love, take me down to but, the streets. Uh, nobody knows the name of that game. Um, so yeah, so I want to talk a little bit about this too. <clears throat> well, yeah, let's talk about how much time do we have left. Uh. Like 20 minutes. All right. Let's talk about what we think sucked about all the big three this year and what we're looking forward to them correcting in the new year. So we'll kind of talk about it all at the same time. I mean, I think I, uh, I mean, I know there's 
been like indie games for PS4, and people have had enough games to play, whatever, with the, yeah. like the third party games. But the lack of exclusives for PS4 and Sony, when they came out of the gates at the E3 two years ago, saying they were this system is we're all the about game machine. Game. We're yeah. the game machine. Xbox is trying to be a and they media did, system, and they didn't deliver on any games. I, I mean, I understand that you guys have the indie games, but. The indie games, they're they're they are what they are, but they're not the, the right. first party. You don't you don't buy a four hundred dollar piece of yeah, hardware and play don't. indie games. You can, you can buy I can play machine. I can play Steam. You can play you can right. or on my on my you, laptop. Yeah, I can, can play buy, all you those. You can games. have your PC and probably get them at a better price on Steam. Yeah. And I'm so not that guy that says like, well, it's not and an it's exclusive. Not it's not exclusive because it comes out for PC. Yeah. But with an indie game, because the difference is like if you said, um, I don't know, like a big shooter like Titanfall yeah. it's not exclusive to Xbox because it comes out for PC well if you have a gaming PC that's great yeah. but you need to have a gaming PC which is a lot more expensive than a PS4 or an Xbox but with an indie game all you need is a shitty laptop and you can play it you know what I'm saying so it's really not and everybody it, has a shitty laptop and it's something to get down on I mean the the PlayStation uh, future is bright the, oh, the, yeah. the exclusives in the games they yeah, have coming out for God of War it's going to be They're sick f- phenomenal so you have nothing to worry about but just the fact that they just didn't they didn't it's deliver on anything it's an undeniably disappointing year yeah, though and the amount they sold like what are people playing yeah right and here's my problem with and the, some of the games they came out with didn't work and Drive Club yeah. never worked Drive, right, Drive Club the free version was how yeah. they originally sold it it was supposed to be a um, uh, Forza killer yeah and, and it got delayed a year. And it got delayed a year, and, and it, it didn't still work. didn't work at all. It was the most broken of so all of the I remember what we were talking launches. about. Like, I, I mentioned that the developer said they are going to go back to the drawing board. Well, you have a, you're a year late on your game. You're right. going back to the drawing board? Yeah, they, that, exactly. That pretty much summed it up. And like, yeah, it's beautiful, but who gives a shit about that ultimately, mm-hmm. you know, these days? Yeah, my, my biggest problem, and I'm going to get to Xbox because I'm going to slam them Yeah, we'll, we'll slam everybody. Yeah, my biggest Nobody's problem safe. with PlayStation was... They have, and I hate this. This is why I hate Apple, and I don't hate Apple because I own a lot of Apple yeah. stuff. I just hate the I hate the personality of the company. Sony's entire selling of the PlayStation was basically fuck Microsoft. It was not we're good at this. It was Microsoft sucks at this. It was oh they're overpriced. They want to de- you know they want to have an always online experience. The Connect we offer our camera as an option. We don't force you to buy it, which they were going to force you to buy it until yeah. they cut it the day before because they realized that they they realized that their camera sucked compared to the Connect, but also that they could get a price yeah. cut. Um and all of the stuff that they said, a lot of it hasn't come true. No, it hasn't. And, you know, for example, like you said, it's all about the games. Well, Xbox, I think, is clearly the better media machine. I mean, just the fact that they have HBO Go. Mm -hmm. PS4, and that's fine. PS4 is a dedicated gaming machine. But at the end of the day, this is 2014. I want to be able to watch HBO Go fucking go on my console. Like, it's... And I love the HDMI in, HDMI out thing. I would watch half the Netflix and HBO Go that I do if I had to switch my input. In fact, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Xbox One has changed the way I I will think about consoles from on the future. future Yeah, I think everyone's going to steal that idea. Like, I understand they they did fall short from what they wanted to deliver. You you are convinced the system should have was initially supposed to be coming out this year. Yeah. Everything got released early, which makes sense because the way that wonky and just the ideas yeah, it was were not, half-baked. it was not ready. But it has, like, the potential there has changed the way I will always think of, like, systems. I don't want to change inputs. I want to go from playing Halo and we say we're playing Halo for a couple hours and so everybody's done. I want to say Xbox, leave party, Xbox, watch TV, and then I'm, you know, video games are gone. Yeah. And, but I'm, I haven't done it. And the voice commands are very underrated. Like, yeah, they're not perfect. They are. Yeah, sometimes I have to repeat myself. But ultimately, when I get out, I, I, I always use the shower example. But when I got a shower and I don't have my contacts in, I'm like getting ready. I can go Xbox. I do this every day. Xbox on. Xbox go to whatever, you know, TV, HBO Go, Netflix. Uh, you know, and I could do the whole thing with my voice. And like you said, like sometimes you don't want to you know xbox snap party to do that that's way easier than going back it really yeah. is a slick thing and i wish they had another year to work on it yeah. and they you know what would happen as well with another year they probably could have doubled the ram in the system yeah. which would have made a huge difference because the price, there's so much price shit the system on. probably went down too also true yeah but yeah you know what i'm saying about playstation like all of their selling points were like putting down yeah. microsoft and i don't that's like why that I, shit. We, we never liked it when it happened on the e3 it makes me and i own all three systems but it makes yeah. me root for microsoft well, I because love, yeah. sony's an I asshole love place. I, love, yeah. I can't wait to buy a place there just hasn't been a reason for me to buy it right and you'll get one you know yeah. you probably get the new version maybe when it comes out whatever the case may be but you know what i'm saying like it makes it makes me cringe a little bit that they're like talking down yeah. to microsoft and all that shit and all the fans like jumped on it like yeah fuck microsoft well, so, I'm, it's so funny that microsoft is viewed as like this horrible company when um you know, as I've talked about this so much, but 
You think Sony really cares about you? You think Apple cares about yeah, you? Like, sure give me a I fucking am. break, you know? Yeah. I think that Microsoft has revolutionized themselves so much. Like, how about the Windows Phone? People, well, no one thought that they could even get 1% of the market. You know what I mean? The fact yeah. that they have, like, a serviceable thing now, and I think that Windows has come a long way. They've really kind of, yeah. You know, and I know there's, there's so many people out there that have loved like since the PlayStation days, but the greatest consoles that ever come out are Super Nintendo, Xbox 360, and the PlayStation 2. Mm, and yeah. and the Xbox 360 with with what it did with the internet and uh, yeah. the media fe- features might be in my on my personal list probably ahead of the PlayStation 2. They changed the game. Yeah, they did. I mean, Xbox uh, online gaming you can thank Microsoft for. And it's got for. a great. It's got and, one of the greatest includes... libraries of games ever. I know PlayStation 2 had an incredible amount of games. Right. But did it have the greatest like quality? Right. And and Going back to the 360 and Xbox Live, when I say that it rev- revolutionized online gaming, I'm including it PC gaming because game. I know that people know that like you know PC online gaming had been around for a long time, voice chat had been around for a long time, and I understand that there were games before that you could play online on consoles. But give me a fucking break. But what I was saying is, even today, the best gaming online experience I've ever had is Xbox 360, yeah, absolutely, including the new consoles because even online and like. If you're playing World of Warcraft or some Steam game, Steam has Steam's the only platform that has like that, um, you know, it's a platform you can play a bunch of different games on voice chat over all of them. But it's not as slick as Xbox 360. No. It's just not. And, and that's I mean, we, you know, when I play World of Warcraft, I had to use fucking like all these external yeah, third played, party when support. I played, when I played Diablo, we had to use like, like third Skype party, and right? Different thing. Whatever the case may be, and like Xbox 360, you log on, invite from Adam, hold one button, yeah. you're in the party. And you could switch between games. You could and that's talk what, while you watched a movie. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you could do anything you wanted. And it it really, to, to hit a home run like that first try was amazing. Yeah, and then I don't know if we're done with PlayStation, but they completely dropped the ball for Microsoft and ha- released the system with a broken party system. Yeah. It's one of the biggest, like, disappointments I've yeah. ever seen in, like, a yep. console. It's I have, I have depressing two, as fuck. Two humongous disappointments with Microsoft. Now, I'm not even going to touch on the hardware because... I think we've kind of explained our our that it was it should have been delayed a year. They forced the connect. Things weren't ready. Blah blah blah. But and I think they had the the guy that was in charge of the Xbox One shouldn't have been. That guy's there. a fucking that loser. Phil, I Phil, hate that him. Phil Spencer guy that's that's there now, writing the ship should have been there He's, from day one. Yeah, he would have been way better for them. Yeah. Uh, and th- the other guy has such a punchable face too. It's like he's just mm-hmm. unlikable. It's not just that he sucks. He's just unlikable. But yeah, the party system is the number one biggest problem with Microsoft. Because um, the fact that they they invented the easy party system yeah. on 360, and again, I'm talking about including PlayStation or PC gaming, it was the best party system ever, and it didn't fucking work. The fact that you had to turn on chat was amazing. Like I, that blew my mind. It was like, did anyone beta test this shit? Like, and you, yeah, and it's still like they've tweaked it, a and it's still not perfect. And it's still not perfect. I would no. say it's like 50 percent of where. Yeah, it's not. It's not even close. It's not even close. Like and, Laurel has problems all the time when and when yeah. I. When I leave the game chat to tell her, like, give her, like, a tip or something, nothing, like, like crazy, but, like, okay, try this, I can't get back in the party chat. Yeah, it's it's a huge problem. And I don't know if it has something to do with, you know, Nat being over. Like, I would never had that with 360. The, if all the stars are online, it just doesn't fucking work. Right, it is crazy. And I think that also, I've told you this just off topic slightly, you know how they uh, remove the need for voice chat to work all the time and the connect requirement and they freed up some RAM. Mm-hmm. I think that that part of that RAM was for snapping apps because I've noticed a big drop oh, yeah. in that since, since that tweak was mm-hmm. made the apps. Some like if I, if I'm loading a game and I snap an app, it won't load for like 60 yeah. seconds. You ever try to broadcast it? It takes like a minute and a half. You're like, what yeah. the fuck is going on? You know? Yeah. And for what snapping could have been, it's very disappointing. Oh, it was such a now. great idea. Yeah. And a lot of people hated it though. I don't understand Oh, I feel stupid. like people ne- like hate things without giving them a chance. I mean, I know, I know people do. Right. That. Well, if if you like the same old, then you're yeah. gonna love Wii U and PlayStation Four because it's the same old. It's yeah. the same thing as last generation. You know, and like PlayStation Four, like the fact that they didn't even have a plan to have um, uh, like uh, DLNA or whatever it is. Oh yeah. Which yeah. is like streaming media is amazing, and people are like. Or they couldn't play MP3s. <laughs> people were like, well, I don't do it anyway. It's like, I don't either. Yeah. But some people do. And it's a basic fucking ability, you know? The systems were forced out. But here's here's my other problem with Microsoft. I think both controllers are amazing on both systems. I love them both. The fact that you need a fucking adapter for a headset on Xbox drives me crazy. And this whole thing where I can't get a headset, it's because of Microsoft. Yeah. With PlayStation, all I need is a Bluetooth chip. And they could have done the same thing. still not figured out. 
Yeah. yeah they give you that adapter. But it, right, but what but, does that do for wireless? And D- DTS doesn't always yeah. work depending on Dolby Surround. Like you need to have the perfect. Sometimes you have headsets that go into the back of the Xbox. Yeah. Some go into the heads into the adapter. But it's like PlayStation. You can literally plug in a uh, thing into there, and if you want a wireless adapter, it has a Bluetooth headset. Yeah. Xbox. Make it fucking work. Oh, yeah. And, like, I'm happy that, like, I hated that stupid proprietary shit that Microsoft used to put out. You have to buy their stuff to get the work. Like, the, right. the micro, or, like, the the charging dock yep. and uh, the the hard, or the hard drive yep. to the headset. But you know what? I, back then, I had a fucking wireless headset, and it worked. Yep. Nowadays, they give you what you want. You want the micro USB to plug in your charger controller off anything. But yet we don't have a fucking wireless headset. Right. Like what the hell? It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And and with the PlayStation, it's like they just completely forgot about. It. They're like, fuck that. We'll worry about it later. Yeah. It, like it's... they left out the core values of the Xbox 360. What yeah. it was. Just the fact to... that you need an additional adapter. It yeah. drives me crazy. And it's such a piece of shit too. Like it's so poorly designed yeah. that how many people broke their original headset because that you couldn't. You did. Chad did. Because yeah. when you would pull it out, your hand would yeah, slip and you just I, pull like, the wire. That's why I I always leave the, the thing in there now I pull right. the headset but you can yeah. because it had because it's what should have been built into the controller yeah. you can just unplug the the headset mm-hmm. whereas before you couldn't you had to literally unplug the whole thing and I, as far as the battery situation with both I think it's kind of a draw because I I think it's ridiculous that the Xbox doesn't have a rechargeable battery built in however yeah. the PlayStation one sucks well, it only lasts for like three mine hours mine does now I have the rechargeable. Well, yeah, I, yeah, I bought an adapter, yeah. but I'm saying it sh- it should have come with one. Yeah. And the, but the problem with I have the PlayStation one, which I love, uh, and they both charge and the consoles are off, which is great, and they both sleep, which is great. Those are great features. But um, the PlayStation one it lasts like three hours. Yeah, that's crazy. And pe- th- people say it might be the LED light, which is retarded. But they give you an option to turn that off, and people still have that problem. It, I, it, it, I don't think it matters that much though, because that's like supposed to be like the like the lowest power light mm-hmm. that there is. Um, what else do I got? Things that I'm disappointed. I mean, there's there's a lot for both. Those are the ones that are the biggest problems. Um, I mean, Sony they did a simplified thing, but the biggest problem I have with them is the games, you know. And yeah. it still it's, has the the interface is not as good as the Xbox. I would argue, but it's strongly. better than the PS3 though. Much better than the PS3. I love the PS4. The biggest thing that they did to me is that their controller is great. And anyone, again, I've said this before, anyone who thinks the PS3 controller was good is wrong. It's not a matter of opinion. You're stupid because yeah. it is a fucking terrible controller. It is, it's, it, they tried to replace it. They had the boomerang controller, but everyone laughed at it. So they dropped it and ended up with the DualShock 3 or whatever. But um, the PlayStation 4 controller is awesome. So they've totally made up for that. That's another thing too. The Xbox One controller didn't, the PS4 controller worked with PCs before the Xbox One controller did. Mm. You want to explain that to me? Do the Bluetooth, right? It was not. The... No, I think it was even plugging it in. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. My I, my two pro- I have two problems that uh, cover both the two majors. Yeah. Stop re- stop releasing every fucking game as a remake HD. It's fucking uh, yeah. stupid. I mean, Sony started it and they had they had apparently they've had great success, but to do it with games that are less than a year old. Right. Well, that's stop. the thing. Like Just with fucking stop. The, the thing is that, and I know I'm a Halo fan, but like I really believe this. Obviously, Halo has problems with online, but yeah. that aside, the Halo reimagining is unbelievable. Yeah. It's five or it's four games. It's it's full HD yeah. update well, of yeah. one. It's all the online I think that's games. Awesome. That's gets... that's different than just releasing a game that just came yeah. out HD. You know, but in, and the only other one I give a pass to is um, the Last of Us. The Last of Us, Xbox One or Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty was the the best selling system in North America for the whole time. Uh. PlayStation 4 is the best-selling system in North America. Maybe there's a slight chance of people that switch or left Xbox, came to PS4, never got a chance to play it. Right. That's a great. That's a great. Yeah. And that's a Honestly, great I've, I've best considered. Game. I've considered buying. It. That's the best game on that generation. But sure, probably been forty bucks. Yeah, probably. Because it is just. But, it's not like Xbox. Like the Halo took a long fucking yeah, time. And, and like, all these other companies that are jumping on the bandwagon, like you have the Tomb Raider. Yeah. Like definitive, and you know what? All they're doing is porting the PC version over to right. the higher system. Exactly. They're not it's, doing anything. That's the thing. Like with some of these games, it's not that hard because, if, for example, if you take a Nintendo sixty four emulator and you play Super Mario three D, uh, not sorry, Super Mario sixty four, and you update it to ten eighty p graphics, it looks mm-hmm. really good. And that's basically what they're doing with some of these games. That's not doing anything. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's that's like when you go through, and I'm sure with Last of Us they did this like. And they definitely did with Halo. When you redo all the textures, okay, now you're putting some effort in and you're really redoing the game. But yeah, when you're just like upscaling the resolution and adding some anti-aliasing, you're not really doing. And you're anything. selling them for a 
half to half more more than half what they should be. Right. There should yeah, just stop. I mean, you have like stupid games like Watch or Sleeping Dogs. Like every a lot of people like that game and the game's not even like 2 years old. Right. The Tomb Raider wasn't 2 years old. There's a bunch of them. Yeah, like, it's, just, instead of doing that, put some effort into having your system emulate the old systems. Yeah. Then then you got something. The bad, did you see that do you see the thing about Final Fantasy 7 the greatest troll of all time? That was places? amazing. <laughs> that was amazing. People were going nuts and then they were like, "Oh, it's the PC version." I can't believe that <laughs> I can't believe that they even did that because they know that is probably other than Half-Life 3 the most and forget about Half-Life 3. It is by far the most clamored for um remake yeah. of all time people well, talk about it every game show every and the fact that they would just show final fantasy 7 remake like the guy should have gone up the there PC and, version. right the guy should have gone up there and said listen fuck you this <laughs> is this is a uh remake of the PC version this isn't a total re-. like he should have yeah. warned people cuz people were fucking and then pissed. it was just silence when he said it was a PC version yeah, and it you know, looked. It was hilarious because they were showing the graphics, yeah. and it looked like Nintendo sixty four. It was like, really? <laughs> that, like, why would you even bother? That Sony fucking meeting probably went. Well, a lot of people want uh, Final Fantasy seven. And one guy went. Well, I we, got an idea. We don't have a lot of money. <laughs> the one guy went. What's I got an idea. Cheapest? We could do it for ten grand. <laughs> yeah. Well, how? <laughs> PC version. You. Done. You're you're promoted. Uh, uh, because seriously, like I think most people, and I'm dead serious, would probably rather play the original. Yeah. Probably. Because it's just more nostalgic. You know, if you're not gonna update it. Totally, you know. And they wouldn't have to update it to, like, crazy 3D. Um, they could just have the equivalent of um, Shadow Complex to Metroid. You know, just yeah. update, like, the backgrounds and the textures and the animations. They wouldn't even have to, like, redo it completely. But they just they just upscaled it and yeah. said, here you go. And my uh, last, my last, I guess, gripe or, like, I don't know, I want people to do. I want Sony and Microsoft to be more vocal when these stupid attacks happen. Yeah. Condemn the people. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for your 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 customers. Yeah, they just say we're having. All they problems. say is their their technical problems. We're looking into it. They know. They know. They know what the hell. Yeah, going they know. On. Be vocal. Uh, let the people attack the other the other group. You know. Yeah. How They're, much How much time we have left? Just real quick. Uh, we're at one hundred five. Okay, so not much. Uh, quick Wii U. Uh, indies. Get rid of the gamepad. Um, have more games, I guess. Uh. Because I really think they're missing out with some of the indies, like the Steam ones. Like, I'm yeah. glad they got Chariot, because Chariot's a phenomenal game. Shovel Knight's great. I think FTL will be the best-selling game on you, on the Wii U, because it, it's perfect. When you have, you hit your pause, or that little on the little gamepad screen, you can have your inventory, stuff that's important, right. on uh, that screen, and then you have your game on the other screen. So good. You would think they'd be the indie home because you of can their be. Roots. They can be the yeah. indie home. They, they absolutely just, can. They be. just don't care they about don't, anyone, and they don't That's why do it. It makes you wonder if why don't you just and I I don't want them to do this. Yeah. But why don't you just make yourself a, a game making studio yeah. because you obviously don't give a fuck about third party games yeah. like because again obviously they can't have the Call of Duties and the and the whatever the yeah. Dragon Ages because it's not powerful enough. But you could have all the indies, but they don't give There's a fuck. No reason. What, what was that? What's that game? Uh, that free game on PlayStation Four that. It's like Smash Brothers. Oh yeah, Tower Falls. There's no reason that can't be on there. There's, right. There's there's no reason not any game like yet, Super Smash or not Super Time Force can't be on right. there. Right. And and obviously like the developers they probably don't want to spend a bunch of time for the Wii U because it doesn't sell as well. But make, go out there and have, make the tools for them. You like, have to piggy bank to make those right. people. And Microsoft and Sony, what they do is number one, they throw a lot of money yeah. at them. Number two, they they put a ton of money into the tools that these guys can make to yeah. make them easily portable from Steam or from whatever. And we, I feel like we use just like, hey, you want to make it for us? It's there, yeah. you know. And I, I just I think it's a system that could like ride the indie games, ride those indie games, and have your exclusives and your set. No, and don't be afraid. We um, Nintendo, and I love the idea of releasing complete games. I mean. Smash Brothers again. It could be a hundred dollar game, no problem. Mm -hmm. It's that much value. But don't be afraid of patching it, updating it, adding yeah. a character, updating well, the, yeah. the skills. Because they've said they're not going to do it. Why not? Yeah, why the fuck you don't not? have to. You don't have to totally change it. But like, I'm if, still if waiting you, for Rayman. Yeah, if they find that someone's totally unfair, patch them down a little bit. It's like Dota. Like, how great would it be if they updated it like Dota? That's you know why Dota is one of the most other than the fact that it's just one of the greatest games ever. But it's it's so good in the competitive scene. It's because they patch it all the time. Every tournament's different. Uh, I don't. I'm not a believer in those season pass things. If you guys are people that use a lot of DLC, go for it. But if there was a 39.99 um, Smash, Smash Brothers, Brothers yeah. DLC or season pass, I'd buy it all day. I wouldn't even think about it. levels, players. Right, they updates. get three characters a year. Right, it levels right, like you yeah. said, yeah, and single player modes. It'd be awesome. Done. Because I really think they like. I know a lot of people think the Wii U is underpowered, and it it could be. 
So far, all the games I've played, it doesn't it doesn't seem to be that yeah. way. Yeah, they I understand play, it's not going to play Call of Duty. They can play like eight that. player uh, Smash. Play. That's pretty impressive but at sixty frames a second. Chase those fucking indies, grab them. Yeah, absolutely. Because you know what, all those indie guys, yeah. they probably grew up on Nintendo. They right? They would absolutely. love to have be our high quality nostalgic system. If that because that's what you're doing with. There's the, a reason why Shovel Mario Knight and Zelda and started on Wii U. There's yeah. because those people must love Nintendo. Absolutely, and they, they weren't. They knew going in, they were going to make money off of that. Yeah. And and my my final thought on Nintendo is very simple. Stop making decisions for us. Like in other words, let me talk to my friends when I play online. Yeah. Like what the fuck? Like it's this is not 1995. I understand you don't want anyone in the world to ever be offended by anything, you know. But like, you can't talk to your friends playing Mario Kart online. Yeah. That is ridiculous. It's 2014. Up, you know, up, upgrade those me's because they're fucking stupid looking. Just get rid of them. Just stop. Stop trying to peddle this thing to four year olds. That I don't know if that works in Japan. And you're talking to two Wii U owners, so, like, we like the system. Um, but stop, like, the whole Japanese culture of, like, this little kid thing is really weird. Like, it doesn't and work sexy. here as well and hot. But you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it just, just get some people in America who you trust to sell, you know, yeah. better here. You know, because, you cause again, you have a Zelda. Urban at gmail.com. Exactly. Nintendo, we will work for you. Exactly. Because you have Zelda yeah. releasing, like, their announcement it has a screen off screen with two guys that can't speak English. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? And he's doing the shit that everybody fucking hates with the gamepad, aiming right. with the gamepad. It's Nobody like, wants to do that shit. It's, it's like, I really think in their boardroom meetings, they just go, well, I think everything's great. Yeah. And like, they don't have anyone but, that says, like, just, there's probably a guy that goes, hey guys, um, maybe uh, we could have some English speaking people. Someone can someone get the fuck out. Yeah, just cut it, just <laughs> or, fucking cut his head off. Right. They drop into the fire pit like awesome. But or, the, or, uh, they, or they probably have like a poster that says Wii U sales and it's just like 250 million. The guy just points to it. Like this worked before. Let's stick to it. Yeah. Cause they, like, like we said with the online, cause the other thing is fix your online infrastructure. It's, yeah. it's fine for what it is, but it needs to expand. And that will get you a lot more games too, because yeah. that's another reason Call of Duty won't come on there, because it probably wouldn't work online, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm just using Call of Duty because it's the biggest selling game. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We're probably running out of time. Anything that you're looking for outside of games? Uh, yes, but I'm not looking forward for myself. I'm looking forward to hilarity that's going to come when Samsung starts selling TVs that you can play PlayStation games without. <laughs> that. Uh, the PlayStation. That is going to be amazing. If you ever use a smart TV, they're they're not the best things ever. They don't work like they're not speedy like what you expect. Or shitty processor. Um, nobody. I haven't really heard anything great about PS Now, which is the the Gaikai streaming it's, service. It's kind of disappeared. And now you're gonna get a, a smart TV running PlayStation yeah. games with it's, that. The only thing it's gonna be There's able no to play. There's no way it's gonna fucking work. The only thing it's gonna be able to play is like really crappy it's indie gonna, games. It's like you might as well get an Amazon Fire yeah, TV. It's gonna be you know? fucking stupid. It's gonna be terrible. And why is Samsung doing it, not Sony? Sony might be too. Yeah, but the, yeah, no. I don't know. I mean, the article obviously be. could make sense that like they're telling the people that other right. brands are doing it. Right. But you gotta assume it's Sony just funny. Is. You really haven't heard anything about the Sony TV is doing. I, I said this in a in a podcast recently. I'm like, where the fuck is PS now? It's like it's the same thing with the yeah. with the Steambox controller. Is it is it coming? Is well, it I happening? I heard the Steambox controller got a new D pad. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been six months. It better have something or or a D pad. Did right. It, well, yeah, because it had the. Did the original have a deep end? I don't remember. Because I, 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 I no, I think it just had the thing. I can't remember either. I think it, the whole thing was the analogs, which was such an obviously bad idea. Really cool that they're trying new stuff, but you can't just take people and say, "Hey, you're not going to use analog. You're just going to use these touchpads now." It's but like, I, I can't wait for people to pay the premium Sony price on a premium Samsung TV, and then it's just not working. I know. It's going to put such a sour taste in people's mouth. Right. That's the thing. That's it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt the PlayStation brand. It's going to hurt the brand. People are going to blame. They're when. If they want to buy a PlayStation, you'd be like, oh, that didn't work on my TV because, you know, people are fucking stupid. People are stupid. That's like, remember how hard it was for Android to overcome people yeah. saying that my phone sucks? Well, it's like, well, you bought the free phone. Well, another thing Of course is, your phone sucks. You know what I mean? Android had its own battle when people were buying droids and they right. thought droids were androids and they would have a shitty Verizon droid right, so say they, and they, they would go, oh, oh, I'd never buy another droid right, phone. The MSRP like, for that was like... You think wasn't a fucking droid phone. Right, it was, you it was you a, could get a $200 one of those without yeah. a contract. Instead of the six hundred dollar flagship, you, you that's why Apple's smart. They don't release right now, the shitty one. Motorola doesn't call their phones droids anymore. Yeah, they don't let. Yeah, because those those things were pieces of shit. They were. And yeah, and they, it's, that's the thing. People are dumb. They said, "Well, I'm never Android phones suck." Yeah, and well, that they, just gets in the whole thing of the fact that someone would go get a free phone instead of a two hundred dollar one when you're really getting an eight hundred dollar phone. It just doesn't make any sense. But that's a whole different story. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I, the, something I'm looking forward to. 
I don't really have anything. I, you know what I really like to see is the Steam Box. I'd like yeah. to see it with the controller and all that stuff. I think, I think that would I think be really cool. I think it's going to be a good year, but I think we're going to see more of these stupid attacks more often. Yeah, I think gaming is going to be an amazing year. And I think the other thing, I said, as I said last year maybe, or last week, uh, I'm really looking forward to, to getting a waterproof tablet like the Sony one so I can play Hearthstone in the shower. <laughs> and I think when the Steam Box finally does release, I think we'll get some um, Half-Life 3 news. Yeah. Oh, and MacBook Pro uh, or MacBook Air 12 inch. I think that's a really cool size to have. Very that's portable, cool. but still yeah. usable for doing stuff. That's rumored to be coming. If the Steam Box comes out and they want to sell it, Half Life 3 is the way to do it. That would be sick. I think it would be a real kick in the balls to everyone, though, if it didn't work for real Steam. I mean, it's. An, I don't it's, think they'd do it. It's an exclusive system. I mean, why wouldn't you? I think it would be a huge gamble to do it. Um, unless. I, I think a lot of people would buy it. Yeah, but. They Especially might. affordable one? Yeah, but... I mean, look at the value of it. Say you want the 450 one that runs games great, like, quality of, like, PS4. You think, that, you think that's going to make up say, for... Say it comes with, uh... Yeah, but I know, but if you were planning on buying one... Yeah, but what I'm saying is you think that makes up for Half-Life 3, which would easily be the best-selling game of all time? I don't it, think it would be on there forever. I just think... Yeah, that, that, that's the only way they could do it, is if they released it as I mean, a time exclusive. I, to me, Half-Life 3 isn't as exciting if it just randomly gets announced. I want to see it with like a, a console. Yeah. No, I mean, I, Cause it's I, not coming out for Xbox One or PS4. No, no fucking way. I don't think that I, the only way I could see him doing it is a timed exclusive. I mean, it's definitely the best way to sell a system. I mean, because no get me because I would like to get a gaming PC, but if yeah. I can just get a Steam Box, a, like a decent one that runs fine, I would probably do it. And if especially if I knew Half Life Three was coming out. Yeah. Oh, don't get me wrong. If they release Half Life Three, it'll definitely be released for Steam Box. Yeah. I, I just don't know when, if they would because it's been so quiet. It's been like a year. Nobody's yeah. talking about these fucking things. Yeah, it's it's crazy that they haven't, but um, yeah, we'll see. It's just well, I mean, it's tough because again, Steambox, it's not like I think what a lot of people think that aren't you know hardcore they they can just play their whole Steam library on there. Well, that's not how it works. Yeah, Everyone a, has to recreate these Linux games. And then, that's tough. Yeah, maybe we have Eric feeling to uh, rewrite all the games in Linux. Port all the, all of our Steam games. <laughs> yeah, God bless them. All right, uh, we're probably out of time, aren't we? Yeah, it was a longer one. All right. Yeah, I don't really have anything else I'm really looking forward to. Looking I have forward a bunch of books year. and stuff, but it's not important. Um, yeah. Twitter, Ape at Bourbon. Ape at Bourbon. Or, uh, Facebook.com slash Ape at Bourbon. And YouTube. His, yeah, YouTube channel is Ape at Bourbon. It's, yeah, it's something to search Ape at Bourbon. Yeah. We gotta, Watch our Telltale game. We probably, we probably got to fix that make sure that it is right. I think it's like user. I think that was... When I did the custom thing, I did com slash... Or, or youtube.com slash ape bourbon but then when when I saved it it put like user thing I don't know if it was just something I was seeing yeah well later. Adam made like 17 uh, YouTube Google yeah. plus accounts but yeah. I think when you search ape bourbon it's, I think it's the only one because it's yeah. the only one with a channel yeah so um, and yeah we're gonna be doing a lot of uploading of movies and stuff soon like we talked about last week so that'll be something to keep in fact we might record one tonight we'll see but um I got nothing. Re- rate and review us on iTunes if you feel like it. Yes, God please. bless you. And I'm Andy. I'm Adam. I'm Ray Bourbon. Victory!